today we're going to be talking about the importance of self-custody, but also some very, very important updates in the crypto ecosystem and essentially how it relates to self-custody. Because if you're not safely self-custodying your crypto assets, I don't know what to tell you guys. How are you doing today, Adam? Doing great. Fresh back from Black Hat and DEF CON. So having a good week. Oh, I'm excited to talk about those topics too. Well, you guys, if you're brand new to the O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day, make sure to smash a like and share this interview because it's going to give you a lot of information on relevant crypto news events, plus on how you can safely custody your crypto assets in a very easy manner. So Adam, let's talk first about the new and upcoming Arculus features, because I feel like you guys have been working very quietly behind the scenes to make crypto custody a lot easier for everybody in the designated areas. Sure. So for those new to the story, Arculus is a self-custody wallet. You simply tap to transact. So if you can tap a card to you know your favorite point of sale terminal, you can tap it to your phone and securely send, receive, and store your crypto. Uh, some of the new features we've been working on really are multi-chain, multi-token. So in the sense of, you know, USDC is on Polygon, ETH, Clayton, it's on everything at this point, right? So we had traditionally started off with tokens on ETH, and now we are broadening tokens across kind of all those networks that we support. Uh, we were some of the first hardware wallets to support Hedera and HBAR. Uh, we've supported XRP since the day one of our wallet. We've supported Ripple. So, you know, here we think it's not only the easiest to use, one of the most secure hardware wallets on the planet, and now it will have some of the broadest token reach as well for hardware wallets. So we really think we're positioning ourselves strongly for ease of use um, and you know, uh, full uh, interoperability with the blockchain. I think that's absolutely amazing because self-custody is not necessarily an exciting topic people like to talk about, but it's absolutely crucial. But I do want to kind of talk about XRP and Ripple in their court win. So as most of you guys know, we've been covering XRP and Ripple a lot on the channel because of their battle with the SEC. And it was recently announced that XRP sales on the secondary market are not classified as a security. So all that means is you can go to your favorite crypto asset exchange, you can determine whether you want to participate with XRP. And then that also means after you decide to buy, you've done your due diligence, you can simply use a hardware wallet or self-custody like Arculus to safely custody your crypto assets instead of leaving it on a third party and getting subject to something negative happening. Do you want to talk about that a little bit and why Arculus um, has XRP listed? Absolutely. So, you know, I have full disclosure friends over at Ripple and, uh, you know, here we listed it because uh, at the time, right, a couple of years ago, if you think about it in terms of speed and finality, you know, you could instantly move it basically across the planet. Uh, and they've been very consistent, had some big industry partners. So that's why we chose to keep it in there. But to your point, absolutely. You know, you never know when a centralized exchange may go bankrupt. You may never know when a centralized exchange may get hacked. You may never know when an individual account on a centralized exchange may have a problem. So having your funds, XRP or otherwise, self-custodied uh, is incredibly important. And, you know, having them custodied on a hardware wallet is incredibly important because, right, keys can come out of phones. It happens all the time. So if you have them offline on something like Arculus that's in your pocket, passive, not connected to the internet, you know, your keys, your crypto, totally safe and offline, rich UI on the phone, keys in your pocket. And that's how we like to think about it. Also to you guys, if a specific crypto asset does get delisted from an exchange. That's another important reason why you want to self-custody so you don't have to um, meet those deadlines. Because if you don't remove your crypto asset by a certain time, you can lose it. But let's talk a little bit about how crypto regulation is shifting in the crypto geography and why self-custody is so important. Yeah, with self-custody, you know, again, your keys are in your pocket. You know, those master keys can be derived really for any blockchain and support any asset. So if the government or individual regulators decide something is on or off in any given country, if you self-custody, you kind of don't care because those keys in your pocket don't care where you're standing. They don't want care what country you're in. You have full self-control and self-sovereignty over your digital assets. So that's why self-custody and keeping them safe on a platform like Arculus is so important. So if we look at that shifting regulatory market, you know, it's really in the US being shifted heavily towards Bitcoin and ETH. Uh, and a lot of other assets are having problems in the U.S. So you're seeing funds go where there's both regulatory clarity and regulatory freedom. So you're seeing a lot of assets going towards Asia. You can see shifts in the stablecoin ratios in the market. You'll see USDC down a bit, tether up. 
uh, and some other stable coins up. And you'll see some additional funds into things like Cardano flowing to Asia and other assets flowing to Asia. Uh, other fun thing we're working on that's due out soon, uh, and it will be soon, is using Arculus to sign for MetaMask. So very soon you can use Arculus to sign essentially, you know, your web MetaMask transactions. So instead of keeping your keys in the browser, you can keep your keys offline in your pocket where they should be. That's absolutely amazing because I know a lot of people, especially my TikTok audience, you guys like to use MetaMask from your phone without any kind of backup, any self-custody backing that up. But let's talk a little bit about Black Hat and DEF CON and the MPC wallet risk right before we get going. Black Hat and DEF CON are kind of security hackery type conferences. They're a lot of fun. Um, Black Hat being a little more commercial and industrial and DEF CON is, is kind of more uh, individual individual hackers and, and learning. Right? It's a great experiential event. So they had two great talks. One was by academics and one was from Fireblocks. And it was their security research or is about MPC wallet. So MPC is multi-party computing. So essentially different people computing to get keys to sign for your blockchain. Mm -hmm. So it's a brand new tech and like anything there's brand new, there's bugs. So they presented several attacks which have been responsibly disclosed and remediated. But it just goes to show that this brand new tech uh, there can be a lot of risk with keys, and I'd rather fully control my keys and have them in my pocket than trust three different computers in the cloud. The most important key takeaway is learning how to safely custody your crypto assets and understanding what that means. And again, I use Arculus. I think it's fantastic. Um, it makes my life a lot easier, and it's definitely a product I think you should check out. Adam, before we go, thank you so much for coming on. And do you have any closing thoughts to add before we get going? Just that you know, Arculus is going to continue to support the community, even if it's a bit crypto winner we're chips in, you know, we're going global. So you'll be able to see Arculus by pretty much any country in the, around the world now. Awesome. Thank you, Adam, so much for your time talking about these relative crypto events. And of course, thank you so much for bringing an amazing product to market, Arculus. You guys, if you like this interview, there's going to be a link down below where you can go ahead and do your due diligence on Arculus and see if it's a good fit for you. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and set alerts.